Oh, love is in the air. Love is in the air. All right, what the hell am I doing here? Should I be singing like some Christmas music? It's about to be like deep into the fall soon. Y'all can tell it's starting to get darker outside earlier. You know, it's about to get cold again. The rain is starting to hit. Fall is upon me. The love is in the air. We're getting close to the Christmas season. And your favorite rappers are ending their beef every which way. Favorite male rappers, at least. Them females getting busy right now. Now, we seen Drake and Meek Mill share a moment on stage last night in Boston, Massachusetts. It was wonderful. It was lovely. It was great theater. They ended that three-year-old beef. Reportedly, I just did a video like an hour or two ago on Kanye West saying Watch the Throne 2 is coming with Jay-Z, which will mean that Kanye West and Jay-Z have ended their beef. And heck, why not, since Drake's in them beef and Kanye's in them beef, why not the two get together in some beef of their own? Now, I do want to set off this disclaimer. I don't want to brag or show blow or any like anything like that, but I do want to say this. Yo, we're not just giving y'all videos in 2018. We're actually telling factual information and these things are really happening. Last week, I gave y'all a video saying that Drake is pretty much feeling like he cornered right now. I got this straight from a source from his team. They feel like they're cornered right now because Kanye West came out and apologized to them on Twitter saying, look, I don't have any negative energy towards Drake. I'm sorry for anything you feel I might have done to wrong you and I should have not put that darn Pusha T record infrared out. And when I, when I produced a, a record that had a jab towards you after me and you had been building the studio together, that was Ye apologizing to Drake publicly. And again, that's in wake of Drake set to release a new diss to Kanye on French Montana's new single that's coming soon. They already shot the video for that bad boy. Now, Drake feels like, according to this source, that if he disses Kanye West, he's going to look, be looked at as like a bully. So now he's pulling back from not only dissing Kanye West, but it's now to the point where Drake wants to end his feud with Kanye West on stage as well. So reportedly, now this is a source over at TMZ is saying in the next few days, just like Drake did with Meek Mill last night, he's Drake's going to open his doors of his concerts. He's on this big tour with the Migos and he's going to allow Kanye West to not only come to a show because Ye told Drake on Twitter, I would love to come to a show. I plan on checking one out in the next few days. Now, reportedly, Drake is going to open his doors of his tour for Ye to come on stage with him and to end their beef publicly again. Now, I actually think the Drake and Meek Mill feud, I think that's actually real because we've seen Drake say on countless times, He's a big fan of Meek Mill. He called the intro the most important record in hip hop history in the last 10 years. And we've heard Meek always say he loved Drake's music. Meek was just on them Percocets and he ended up dissing Drake. I actually think they actually have an admiration for each other. Hell, Meek said that back to back was a hard record and he's getting dissed in the record, right? I actually think that they actually like each other behind the scenes. Just some things happened and Meek was strung out on drugs and they ended up beefing. But in regards to Drake and Kanye, I don't believe these two I don't believe Drake cares for Kanye that much. I don't, I'll be honest with you. And if they end their beef, I definitely believe it's going to be like some industry play. Drake is just one of the smartest rappers in the game. He has beef throughout the year and he goes and ends those beefs on his tour to create hip hop moments. It's great for the culture, right? But I don't know if Drake really loves Kanye West, but I think Kanye has nothing against Drake and whatever has happened, I guess it's been some big misunderstanding. And it looks like, Again, Kanye West has not accepted Drake's offer to join him on stage, but from a source, I'm being told, and actually TMZ broke this story, that Drake has opened the doors for Kanye West to do what he just did with Meek Mill on stage with him and perform a song or two with him on stage, have a little moment, say, I love you, all that good stuff, you my brother, whatever. Say, we were sorry, we ain't do anything, you know, personally toward each other. It was all big misunderstanding. Let's get back to making the money. Drake has opened that door on his side. Now, again, with Kanye West apologizing publicly to Drake, I think it's one of those things where Drake just put anything and everything in perspective. We all know Drake's an emotional guy. Reportedly, the Mac Miller death hit Drake pretty tough as well. So it's one of those things where Drake ain't trying to have beefs go too long. If he, if you sense with smoke his direction, he'll respond. But in regards to this yay beef, the public apology did hit Kanye. And again, Drake feels as if though he continues with the beef, dissing him on stage and all that stuff start dropping some music he'll look like a big bad bully when Ye's on this love wave 
So it looks like we're going to get not only a Drake and Meek Mill reunion on this Migos uh, Drake tour, it looks like we're closing in on getting a Drake and Kanye West reunion as well. Wow, man. The men on the hip-hop side are getting it together. Come on, Cardi. Come on, Nicki. Come on, Remy and Kim. How about y'all in some of y'all differences with all this love that the men are sharing in the atmosphere? Again, soon enough, Drake and Kanye West are set to end their beef. It's only a matter of time. Maybe Kanye doesn't want to come on stage, but he's definitely going to attend one of these shows in the next few days. I'm going to have to catch one of these dates to this Drake and Migos tour. I'm thinking about going to an Atlanta location. Y'all let me know what spot should I go check out this Drake and Migos tour. And if you have checked out the tour, is it worth going to at all? Drake creating these goddamn moments on stage, man. I'm going to have to come be a part of that sooner rather than later. What y'all think about what Drake's doing in the wave he's on right now, the love wave? I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids that tune are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV? Here with the Triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.